This is meteorologist Mark Mulner with your special 2017 December through March of 2018 winter weather outlook provided by MeteoMark's Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into the factors affecting this winter. Last winter being very interesting from the Binghamton, New York area, shattering some of your all-time snowfall records into the 130 to 140 inch range with March of 2017 breaking a big snowfall record here into the 30 to 40 inch, 45 inch range in many areas. Will we see anything like that this winter? Let's take a look at the factors. Your biggest driving force this winter will be a weak to slightly moderate La Nina. Off the coast of South America here, you see this cold pool of air as much as a quarter to a half a Celsius degrees below average. That doesn't seem like much, but when you spread that out over thousands of kilometers here in the Eastern Pacific, that spells a big influence to not just the local climate, but the global climate as well. Let's get right into the driving factors of this weak to slightly moderate La Nina. Taking a look at the Pacific subtropical jet riding high here into portions of Oregon, not as high as a stronger La Nina where it would be even higher into Washington state, but for the most part, we'll see that Pacific subtropical jet arcing into the Rockies here and the polar express here coming out of the Gulf of Alaska traversing its way into Washington and Idaho and Montana before combining forces here into no northern Montana and the Dakota region here. And then traversing across the plains into portions of the upper Mississippi, Ohio, and then eventually the Great Lakes region before arcing into the eastern Great Lakes. Now you notice this trough doesn't stretch as far as the U.S. East Coast. That means less East Coast snowstorms this winter. And for the most part, yes, we will see less snowstorms. That's not to say we won't see any. We still see some cold patterns occasionally kick up, but it won't be the nonstop, relentless East Coast snowstorms that we've seen in past winters here. So that being said, those are the driving factors, those low pressures riding. And where those low pressures happen, you see the jet stream the subtropical, pretty much void here across the south. El Nino, you would see that subtropical here all across from the desert southwest in California all the way to Florida here. And you would see a lot of precipitation and colder temperatures. That won't be the case this winter. That subtropical jet riding much higher to combine forces with the polar jet. And that spells a much different winter this winter than previous winters. So that being said, you see these low pressures riding up here across the Eastern Great Lakes. That puts you like places like Detroit, maybe even Cleveland, and sometimes as far west or east as Buffalo, Erie, and especially Chicago to Detroit to Indianapolis. That triangle, that's where we could see some big snowfall totals. Take a look at the snowfall map here. That triangle I was talking about, as much as 50 to 75% above your normal snowfall into portions of southern and central and eastern Ontario, places like especially west of Interstate 81 in New York and Pennsylvania. That's where you could see some 25 to 50 percent above your normal snowfall from the Allegheny Plateau. Places like Buffalo, Erie, Cleveland, Jamestown, these areas stretching all the way across the northern plains into the Pacific Northwest where we get those snowstorms from the Cascades, on especially the Cascades on eastward, that's where we could see as much as 50 to 75% above normal snowfall. Now your attention's drawn here to the red in the central and southern Sierra Nevadas, where many of you in southern and western California rely on these Sierra Nevadas for the snowpack, especially for carrying over into summertime for your reservoirs the next year. Bad news is you won't see like an El Nino snow, or snow and rainstorms plowing into Southern California. You'll see them much further to the north, and that means a lot less snow and rainfall here across the southwest, and that includes the Sierra Nevadas. Portions of the southern United States, take a look at this. Will you see a southern snowstorm this winter? Not to say you won't, but take a look. Dallas, Birmingham, Atlanta, over to Charleston, Raleigh, your chances are a lot lower this year than previous winters. 
taking all the way up the East Coast, places like Philadelphia, New York, all the way up to Boston, your chances are much less this winter. You still see some snowfall, but we're looking as much as 25% below your average. In places like eastern New England, up to down east Maine, into uh, places like Nova Scotia and eastern Quebec, this is where you could be seeing as much as 50% below your normal snowfall level. So, that's not to say we won't see any snow, but it's not going to be like last winter, as we've seen in many areas. Now, I know some of you did get skipped last winter, even in portions of the Mid-Atlantic. But that being said, this winter promises to be quite a rough winter here across portions of the eastern upper Midwest through the Great Lakes, Upper Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys and the Pacific Northwest. Quite a bit different. Now let's take a look at that departure from average temperatures. Much colder than average, 4 to 6 degrees Celsius below normal, the Pacific Northwest, stretching through portions of the Great Lakes, Upper Ohio, and Upper Mississippi River Valleys. That correlates really well with this above normal snowfall here, places like Detroit, Chicago, over to Cleveland, and as far east as Buffalo, New York. We, even Buffalo will see about 25% above average snowfall stretching into Canada here as well. Across the south, all you basically see here is red, and you see a lot warm here into the desert southwest, stretching into the southern tier of the country, the Gulf Coast, Florida, and then you even stretch up here on the east coast, you could be looking as much as 2 to 4 degrees Celsius above normal. Then your eyes turn attention to eastern New England, up to eastern Canada, places like Quebec, over to New England. This is where we could see four to six degrees Celsius above your average normal for this winter and an average winter, that is pretty significant. So that being said, not too far to the west, that's where the coldest air will lie. In precipitation, this includes not just snowfall, but ice. It's basically snow, sleet, freezing rain, and also includes rainfall. It correlates very nicely with the snowfall totals. You see the bullseye here across the Great Lakes, the Pacific Northwest, and you're pretty much void of heavy precipitation events here across the South Florida and then up the East Coast here. So it's kind of, kind of changing the tables this winter a bit. I'm taking a look at the Northeast map to round out the forecast, take a look at this, the Northeast Buffalo, Cleveland, Erie, Bradford, London, Ontario, Toronto, Niagara Falls. These are the areas that are really going to get hit hard this winter. 25 to as much as 50%. You're going to be on a lot of those western side of those low pressures coming out of the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys. Places like eastern New England here, take a look at this. 25%, especially from Interstate 81 eastward in New York and Pennsylvania, you stand the chance of seeing 25% less snowfall than normal. And if you're along the I-95 corridor into the northeast of New England, you could see as much as 50% once I-95 gets here into portions of New England. That's where the area is. You get closer to Cape Cod and such. You could see 50% below your average snowfall totals this winter. So that rounds out the winter weather outlook here for Meteo Marks Weather Northeastern. I'll continue to fine tune this throughout the winter and stay tuned because it's going to be a very interesting winter to say the least. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark, subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark Comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at Media Mark, MediaMark.com, and WeatherNortheastern.com. That'll do it for this winter weather outlook at Media Mark's Weather Northeastern.